Hello, class, and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates for FC Barcelona. We are going to start with this report from El Nacional claiming that Barcelona are proposing a player swap, you know, with Inter Milan involving Felipe Coutinho and Inter Milan defender Milan Skriniar. We are going to be discussing much about this report as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about our sporting director Matteo Alemani, in a recent interview he had where he has made it clear that Barcelona's first task, Barcelona's priority at the moment is player sales. Of course, without player sales, players can't be bought in January, players can't be bought in the summer. So that is the main objective at the moment according to Matteo Alemani. We are going to be discussing much about that as we move ahead. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. According to a report by Catalan outlet El Nacional, Barcelona looked to take advantage of Inter Milan's interest in Felipe Coutinho by offering a swap deal involving 26-year-old defender Milan Skriniar. However, the Serie A champions have rejected such a proposal. Milan Skriniar has established himself as one of the best defenders in Serie A since joining Inter Milan from Sampdoria in July 2017. Over the last four and a half years, the Slovakian international has played a leading role in the Nerazzurri's evolution into a dominant force in the Italian top flight, culminating with their Serie A title triumph last season. To date, the 26-year-old has made 189 appearances for Inter Milan, chipping in with 10 goals and 4 assists in the process. Skriniar's progress has not gone unnoticed, with some of the biggest clubs in Europe, including Barca, setting their sights on him. The interest on Barcelona is understandable considering Eric Garcia has failed to impress since arriving on a Bosman move this past summer. Gerard Piquet continues to show signs of age catching up to him and he is clearly in the twilight of his career. In addition, Samuel Umtiti has been deemed surplus to requirements while Clement Langlet's stock has taken a nose dive in the past year. So it behoves Barcelona to invest in a top class centre back who can tighten things at the back. To that end, Barcelona have been linked with several centre defenders including Mark Batra, with Skriniar also a viable target. However, with their finances not in the pink of health, Barcelona look to engineer a swap deal to sign the 26-year-old defender with Felipe Coutinho joining Inter Milan. The Serie A champions have been heavily linked with the Brazilian playmaker, but of course Inter Milan will not sign him on a player exchange package according to reports. The Italian giants have no intention of selling a key player like Skriniar. At the same time, the 26-year-old valuation far exceeds Coutinho's meaning a swap deal was never going to see the light of the day. So Barcelona might need to set their sights on another defender and it remains to be seen who joins them to bolster their back line. Then on to the next story of discussion. The rumor mill is abuzz with speculations as we get closer and closer to the January transfer window. Barcelona going through, you know, a lean patch on the field, are in the market for reinforcements in attack and are being linked with players left, right and centre. From Manchester United, Edison Cavani to Ferran Torres of Manchester City to free agent Cedric Beckham Bo, the Barcelona have been credited with an interest in a host of attacking players over the past few weeks. However, the club situation financially and the La Liga salary cap rules, you know, mean that Barca's hands remain tied in the market. So, in order to be able to sign new stars, Barca will have to offload some of their key current players so as to make room for new arrivals. That according to Barcelona Sporting Director Matteo Alemani remains the first and foremost objective of the club heading into the January transfer window. Speaking in a recent interview, he said, We have a lot of duties at Barcelona currently, but the first thing is to respect financial fair play. You know, to be able to sign, there must be departures first and foremost. In recent weeks, various reports have indicated that players like Coutinho and Umtite, who do not belong in the manager's plans but continue to collect big pay packets, you know, are at the top of the club's exit list. Efforts are being made, you know, to move them from the Camp Nou. Why summer signing Luke de Jong is also expected to be on his way out, along with Yusuf Demi. Sergino Des is another player who seems, you know, to have failed to make the desired impression on Javi and could be allowed to leave. There is interest in his services from Bayern Munich, 
who also wanted to sign him during the summer last year. The upcoming transfer window will be very crucial to how Barcelona finish the ongoing season. Strengthening the forward line, especially in the number 9 position, has become imperative. But for that to happen, as Alemani says, players will need to be sold first. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.